Hi friends, welcome to our new video. Today, we will be discussing, on how to set up, UAE VAT features, in Tally Prime. In this video, we will be covering, setting up VAT details, enabling VAT in masters, purchase, and sales entries, with VAT, and, generate VAT return form. But before you move ahead, please hit that subscribe button, to make sure you're kept up to date with all of our VAT related contents. First, let's understand how to set VAT details in Tally Prime. Select Go to. Select Alter Master. And select VAT registration details from the list. Here, you have to enter some details that are available in your tax registration certificate. Select the Emirate in which your business is located. Type TRN number, as mentioned in your tax registration certificate. Type the registration date. Select the VAT return periodicity. Type Y, to set, or alter, VAT details. Here, you can set the VAT rate applicable to your business. And, press Enter, to accept the settings. There is an another way to set the VAT details. Press F11. Enter, on Enable Value Added Tax, and type Yes. If your company is created in Tally, and the VAT is not enabled, then you have to enable it by using any one of these ways. But at the same time, you have to enable VAT, in all your masters, in Tally Prime. That is all the suppliers, customers, expenses, and also sales and purchase ledgers. Once you have enabled VAT in Tally Prime, your sales and purchase ledger will enable VAT, by default. Let's check the sales and purchase ledger. Let's see the masters. Go to, alter and select ledger. This is the customer created as an example. In the VAT registration details, select regular, if the customer is registered with VAT, otherwise select unregistered. Here, we will select as regular. Type the registration date, and registration number, as per their VAT registration certificate. Let's check another ledger. Here we will select Eddie Salat, as one of the suppliers, in terms of expenses. Eddie Salat provides telephone, or internet service. Let's enable the VAT, as we are claiming VAT against this expense. Type the registration date and registration number. same time, we will enable VAT and telephone expense ledger. This way you can enable or update the VAT details for all your suppliers and expenses. Let's do some taxable transactions. We will start with purchase entries. Select vouchers. And select purchases. Enter date. Enter supplier invoice number and date. Select the supplier. Select item, here, we will purchase some shirts. Enter the quantity, and rate. And, we'll purchase some trousers. Enter the quantity, and rate. Now we have to create the ledger for input VAT. Go to create. Enter the ledger name as input VAT. Group it under, Duties and Taxes. Select type of duty as VAT. And save it. Now you can see here, the VAT has been automatically calculated, based on the purchase value. Save this transaction.
This is how we make taxable purchase. Next, we will create a taxable expense entry. Type the date. Enter the invoice number and date. Select the supplier. Here we will select Eddie Salat. Change the voucher mode to accounting invoice as we are entering an expense here. Select the expense. Here we will select telephone expense. Enter the amount. Select the input VAT. As you have seen before, the VAT will be calculated automatically. Type the narration. Save the transaction. Let's enter another expense entry. Enter the invoice number and date. Select the supplier. Select the expense. Here we will select printing and stationery. Enter the amount. Select input bat ledger. Type the narration. And save the transaction. Now let's understand how to use payment voucher for entering VAT transactions. Before entering the transaction, we have to change the configuration settings. Press F12 or click on configure. Type yes in show more configuration. Type yes here. Type yes in show party details. And save it. Now we are ready to enter the transaction. Type the invoice number and date. Here you can enter the supplier details. Type the supplier name. Select the Emirate. Type the supplier's TRN. Select the expense ledger. Enter the amount. Select input tax. Here you see, the VAT will not calculate automatically, like in purchase voucher. You have to type manually here. Enter the narration and save it. Now we will move on to the domestic sales entries. Go to vouchers. Select sales. Enter the date. Let's create a customer now. Go to create. Type the customer name. Select the group as sundry debtors. Select the registration type as registered. Select unregistered, if the customer is not registered with VAT. Enter the date of registration, and their VAT registration number as per their TRN certificate. And save it. Select the item, for example, here we will select shirt. Enter the quantity, and rate. Here we have to create a ledger for output VAT. Go to create. Type the name as output VAT. Select the group as duties and taxes. Type of duty as VAT. And save it. Output VAT is calculated here automatically. Save the transaction. Now we will create another sales voucher for another customer. So today, 
we have created few purchase vouchers, for inventory, and for some for expenses, and few sales vouchers as well. Now let's see the VAT return, which is available in Tally Prime. Select VAT reports from Go To. Select VAT 201. Change the period. This is the VAT return. Here we can see the domestic taxable supplies and domestic taxable purchases. Let's generate the VAT form. Go to export. Here you can see the VAT form. Exactly same fields are available in the FTA portal. So once you have this VAT form ready, you can easily enter the values and file the VAT return within no time. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss out on our new videos. Thanks for watching.